All right, here we go. Ooh, I tell you, oh, so let's just swing those arms and we're gonna grab um, the band and do those shoulder floss things again. I find, um, yeah, I was, I haven't slept in a tent in a long time. Now I know why I don't. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't that bad. It was okay. But the bug sure liked, had a feast on my legs while I was sleeping. Okay, so I just want to do a Y with my arms. Now my shoulders are super tight. One side's going to be tighter than the other, so I'm going to look super uneven. But I'm going to hold this band tight enough that when I come forward to in front of my chest, and then I want to go as far back as I can. See how bent I am? <laughs> See how bent I am? I'm gig. Maybe that's what they mean by get bent. <laughs> I don't know. Urgh. I'm glad you girls are here because it's a lot more fun to stretch when you're not alone. Do it together. Ooh, these crazy pants my boyfriend bought. They're like... Got all those skulls on it, those Mexican Cinco de Mayo or whatever themed. <laughs> it's just it's just a matter of working your way as far back as you can go, bit by bit. Oh, rah. it's doing it! I'm doing it. <laughs> Holy smokes. So now I know my left shoulder is way tighter because it can't seem to, or maybe it's the right, I'm not sure. But we're gonna figure this out together. So I'm just gonna put this band aside on the floor for later. I just wanna stand up <clears throat> and alternately pull my knees to my chest. Now, I'm doing all that cycling. And then yesterday's workout, I find that I'm super tight around the knees. There's this one, mu <clears throat> excuse me, muscle that inserts in your hip and goes to the inside of your knee. It's called sartorius. And uh, I find that if your hips are really tight, then what happens is it makes your knee think it's hurt or tight, but really it's just we need to stretch that part of our hips out. So let's address that first. Let's just walk down to the floor. We go in our 90-90 position. So this is how I can tell if it's that muscle that we were talking about. Because if I do this and then my knee feels better, then I know it was my hip. Okay, so I'm going to put my chest down on my shin. I got my nice 90 degree angles with my fabulous pants. <laughs> I know you're all jealous. If you want to know, I can send you the link. <laughs> you all have matching pants. Stretch in the park. Whew. That is tight. So just based on this stretch, it's telling me that it is my hip, not my knees. Let's take a deep breath in. And let it go. And again, deep breath in. Feels so good. So did that Timmy that I had this morning. <laughs> good jolt. Mm. And we're gonna sit up and we're gonna go for that outside knee now. So I'm gonna lean my torso towards that outside knee. It's funny, this stretch I find with Whenever I get people to do this stretch, I get multiple places they say that they're feeling a pull. Some say they're, it's opening up their hip, and others say it's up along that lower back side. You could go right up the side to your ribs. All right, reach for that back foot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
Yeah, I think it was my hip because my knee's already feeling better. Okay, so I'm going to push this knee into the floor and then I want to turn my body as far away from that knee as I can. Twist your body as far behind as you can go. Still pushing that knee into the floor we're let, getting those tendons to release when we let go and come forward and reach for that back foot again push the knee in we're going to twist again twist away And come back forward keep that knee pushed into the floor you can put your hands behind your back or on the floor beside you and lift the foot up push the shoulder towards that foot and don't forget to breathe put the foot down now let's lift the whole leg whoa oh, I almost fell over Ay, 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 I'm feeling that cramp that goes down from your hip to your knee. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Oof, that was a good stretch. So before we switch sides, I want to take my front leg. And I'm going to bring the heel towards me. And then I'm going to go on my forearms and I'm going to lie right on top of that leg. Funny, when we were camping, afterwards, me and the other woman that we were camping with both had multiple bug bites, and both men had none. So I'm thinking, what the heck? I guess those bugs weren't gender sensitive. <laughs> All right, I'm going to roll into the last side, but here, and then I'm going to switch sides, and we're going to do the 90-90 on the other side. Nice 90-degree angles. I'm going to put my chest down on that shin. Holy moly. Deep breath in and let it go. Let's go for that side leg. Oh, I can barely sit up straight. That's how tight it is. So I'll just grab onto my knee and pull my torso forward. Ay, 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 ay. Sorry, I had to scratch. Probably another bug bite. <laughs> All right, let's reach for that back foot. Rah.
Mole, mole, eh? All right, push that knee into the floor and walk that body as far away, twisting the body behind. Keep that knee pushed in. Come back around and reach for that foot again. I didn't realize how tight I was around my hips until I did this. And push the knee in and twist your body again. Away, away, away. Push that knee into the floor and lift the foot up. Push the shoulder towards the foot. I can feel this all the way up my lower back and side. All right, foot down. We're gonna lift the whole leg. Five. work still on the hips but a little bit of shoulder and neck as well. So I'm going to put the bottoms of my feet together. You can grab your toes if you want. Pull yourself a bit forward. Just opening up those hips in a different way now. You want you to use your elbows and try and push those legs down a bit. I don't think I have much hope getting these knees down today. Ay ay ay. And then we're going camping again. But luckily, we're going camping in style. We're going to take a beautiful home with us. And although it's a pain in the butt, we're going to do it because we want to. We want to live in uh, in a lavish place while we're in paradise. <laughs> Makes sense, right? <laughs> okay. So you can cross your leg if you like, or have your legs however whatever is comfortable I'm gonna take my right arm I'm gonna put it behind my back and then I'm going to take my left ear and put it towards my left shoulder because my right arm is behind my back if you want you can take your left arm to sit it on the top of your head where your ear is and then push that ear into the hand And there's this uh, one technique too that we're going to do that releases the neck tendons when they're super tight. We're going to do that as well. Really helps with range of motion and helping those muscles let go. All right, so there we go. Hands forward. I'm going to put my left hand up to my chin and I'm going to try and turn my head towards the hand but the hand's not going to let it. So let's push, go. You're trying to turn your head to the side and the hand is stopping you. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again, but this time the hand's going to lose. Here we go, all the way. Go. Now put your right hand up and let's push the chin into there. And now this hand is going to lose. Let's try it again. Trying to turn the head, but there's resistance. Back to center. Other side again, left side. Push the chin like you're trying to turn your head. Hands gonna stop you. All right, now this time the hand's gonna lose, but it's still gonna fight. Here we go, all the way. Back 
to center. Other side. Push into that hand, turn, but don't let it move. The hand's gonna win. And again, this time the hand's gonna lose. All the way back to center. Let's check that range of motion side to side. All right, put the right arm again behind your back. Let's try it again. Left ear, left shoulder, left hand on the right ear. Push your hand into the ear. There you go. We let some, some of those tendons go, which will really help. Okay. Slide the hand up towards the top of the head and bring your chin to your chest. Gently, gently, no forcing. Right. Left arm behind your back. Right ear towards right shoulder. Ooh, that's my tight tight. Ooh. Right hand on that ear. Push that ear into the can towards. the hand up towards the top of the head. Bring the chin to your chest. Back to center. Chin down to your chest. Chin back. In the chest. center. Turn your chin towards your left shoulder. Chin towards your right shoulder. Now just by doing that you're telling your tendons to kind of let go and not go like this. So that's what we did there. <laughs> just FYI. Okay let's roll onto our backs. If you got a towel or a band. If you don't that's okay too. We're just going to use our hands. Let's roll onto our back. Oh, imagine your body sinking into the floor. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Letting all the week go. It's Friday. TGIF. I'm gonna go watch a reggae band tonight at my work. It's free, no cover. But I did notice a long list of reservations. <laughs> oh, it's going to be packed. All right. I'm going to take my band or towel and put it on the bottom of that right foot. I'm going to extend that leg straight out and bring it up. Now, normally I would have the other leg straight, but when I'm warming up to it, I like to keep it bent for the first attempt. If you really want to feel the back of that leg stretch and push your heel towards the ceiling and your toes towards your face. And if you want, you can hinge toes ceiling, toes face. I'm going to write a song. It's going to be a rap song. Yo, yo, toes, feel it, ceiling, toes, face. Yo, yo, break it down. <laughs> I am so not a rapper. All right, let's straighten that leg out and bring that same leg back up. Oh. Oof. That. Well, that explains a lot. Those hammies are tight. But it makes a lot of sense. When you do a lot of sitting, like traveling, and or sitting in a lawn chair by a fire, that's a lot of sitting. Or a lot of cycling, which usually works the back of your legs A lot of sense because 
cycling tightens up the back of the legs and the butt. All right, I'm gonna take, this is my right leg, so I'm gonna take my left arm straight out at my side, and I'm gonna drop that right leg all the way out straight, still kind of keeping that heel pushed out so my leg stays straight. I find if you're pointing your toes, it doesn't uh, stretch those hamstrings like you would like, so keep the heel prominent in the stretch. And you can just put your hand on the side of your leg. Oh, the sun came out. Nice. Welcome, sun. Okay, I'm gonna grab this band and just take it off for a sec. Both my arms are gonna go straight out at my sides, and then I'm gonna drop this leg across my body towards the floor. And I just wanna keep the top part of my body stable and straight and square. The bottom part that's twisting. allow myself to roll forward and that knee go right to the floor and put my hand on that knee go post that top arm and drop it <laughs> I feel that in my I guess they could say my gluteus medius area which is the muscle just above your butt cheeks and of course in my chest and pec Probably from doing those goal posts. Yep. Funny how the front part of your chest, where it meets the shoulder, if that is tight, you actually have troubles in the back. The upper trapezius area turns into knots because it's all been pulled forward by the tight chest. And I love letting gravity help me too. So, if you want, you could stay in this position or you could transition to a pretzel by grabbing that other foot and then trying to put your shoulders square on the floor. Still keeping the knee on the floor and pulling that other foot towards your butt cheek. Now you're stretching your quad, your hips, pretty much your whole body. <laughs> Deep breath in. Alright. Rolling onto my back. Nice and slow and gentle. I'm gonna hug both my knees to my chest. And just rock teeter side to side for a second here. Let's just quickly open up that lumbar spine before we stretch the other side. So you can stay in this position or you can put your hands on the back of your legs, pull those knees towards the chest, kind of on the outside of your chest, and then bring the feet up so the bottoms of your feet are facing the seat. That's a good way to open up that lumbar spine. Don't forget to mute your thing there, mister. Second here. Grab the bottoms of your feet. Pull it down. There we go. Pull those knees towards the floor. We're just opening up that lumbar spine. Super good if you feel like you got pinched nerves or anything down in the back. All right, I'm gonna grab my band or towel. 
we're gonna do the other leg now. Left leg for me. Straighten that leg straight out. And bring that foot right up. Okay, so I still have my right leg bent, but that's just for the beginning here. Point my toes towards my face and the heels towards the ceiling. I'm being very careful with the band or towel so that it doesn't fly off my foot and hit me in the face or whatever. And now I'm going to point my toes to the ceiling and then just hinge at that ankle back and forth. Leg for this class today. I need you. <laughs> uh. All right. Let's lower that leg, straighten the other leg, and then bring it back up. Oh. So tempting for my toe to go forward because the back of my leg is so darn tight. But I want to really push that heel so towards the ceiling. And when I feel great resistance, I like to take in a deep breath. And let it go. When I let that breath go, I imagine my whole body just sinking into the floor. Let's do it again. Deep breath in. And let it go. This is my left leg, so I'm going to put my right arm straight out at my side just to anchor my shoulder down. As I drop that left leg straight out at the side, still pushing that heel forward, keeping it prominent so we can stretch that inner hamstring. See, my this inner hamstring on this side is so tight, I know it's the culprit of my knee. That and my hip combination. Just letting gravity pull that leg down. Deep breath in. Fill up your lungs. Fill up your tummy. And let it go. Take a deep breath in. One, two, three. Hold your breath. One, two, three. Let it go. One, two, three, and four. One more time. Deep breath in. Two, three, hold. Two, three. Let it go. Two, three, four. Just bringing those lungs out, eh? really felt I got a lot of motion, range of motion by letting that leg hang and do some breathing. So I'm just going to put my band off to the side, both my arms out at my sides, legs straight up and then drop across the body towards the floor, still focusing on keeping that heel prominent. <laughs> Excuse me. It's great. All that darn pollen flying around, I think. Deep breath in. One, two. Whistly whisk, whisk, whistle. Deep breath in, let it go. going to roll forward so that my knee can hit the floor. I'm going to take that bottom hand and hold the knee down, go post to my top arm, and then drop it behind me. <clears throat> that feels fantastic. <laughs> oh,
So reggae tonight, Beaver Lodge for the weekend. I'm so excited. There's hiking and waterfalls. There's even a Ukrainian festival going on. So I guess I'll be proroguing it up. Probably lots of cabbage, hey? Eh? Call it a cabbage festival. So my knees keeps trying to lift up off that floor and I have to hold it down. Okay. You can stay in this position or you can grab that other foot. Pull your foot towards your butt, knee on the floor, and at the same time, trying to keep those shoulders square on the floor. Super difficult. I'm getting a cramp in my leg, but I'm fighting it. <clears throat> it's all about range of motion, right? Long, lean muscles are strong muscles. All right, roll back. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to bring my knees to my chest again and just roll side to side. <clears throat> you can pull those legs towards your chest on the outside of your chest and then bring the bottoms of your feet towards the ceiling. Really pull that in. Stretch that lower back. And Grab the bottoms of your feet and pull those knees down. So my hand, arms are on the inside of my knees and my hands are on the outside of my feet and I'm just pulling those knees down and if you want to adjust a little extra and really open up that lumbar spine pull your feet apart and then knees down now i'm going to show you how we do child pose on your back just slide your hands to your ankles keep your arms on the inside of your knees and then bring those feet towards your butt a child pose lying on your back position. I'm going to roll onto my side because I want to do that shoulder sweep. Sleeping, like I said, sleeping in a tent or getting a stiff neck really good for the shoulder and neck. So I'm lying on my side, my knees and hips are parallel, I'm supporting my head so that my spine is straight. My thumb is just hovering above the floor a few inches and I'm going to do a nice circle, half circle rainbow, keeping that thumb towards the floor the whole time. I remember when I first started doing this stretch, I could only go to my ear. So then I would just go forward and back from the front to my ear until my range of motion built. Just like that uh, shoulder floss we did at the beginning. Super similar to that. Good job. Yeah. I know I'm just lengthening those muscles, giving them a fighting chance. Let's try 
go. Switch sides. Do a shoulder sweep on this side now. Knees, hips parallel, supporting my head so my spine is straight. Thumb down. Goes far behind me, keeping that thumb to the floor. You actually have to kind of adjust your wrist when you do that. But it works. It works. Yay. So I was listening to this doctor talk on the way home today because I was driving in from Wipers and uh, just about the trapezius area one of the most common massaged and knotted and painful muscles and they said that a lot of the time it's caused by stress so that's why I kind of focused a lot on shoulders and neck today to start but I'm gonna try and figure out a way to keep that problem at bay. One of the things is strength, building strength there. And rowing is the safest way to build strength between those shoulder blades. It's They're called rom, the rhomboids are what anchor your scapula to your spine. So those need to be strong. Mine were weak when I was having babies and stuff and I slipped down the stairs and I grabbed the railing and because I was weak back there I actually tore my rotator cuff because my rhomboids were weak and couldn't support the fall and that's why we do lots of rowing and our workouts to keep our body strong okay let's roll onto our back both your legs towards the ceiling and if you want you can support your lower back by just putting your hands under your butt just a nice table what I would like you to do is go all the way to the floor and do a big swoop and then come back up and then the other leg big circles we're just trying to lengthen the muscles alternate sides, biggest circle as you can make. And imagine just making your leg as long as you can. Again, that heel needs to be prominent. Push it. Toe. Heel. Lengthen the leg muscles. Push it. Just strengthening the Lengthening those hip flexors. Run your hands up towards your ankles and let's pull those straight legs towards your face without lifting your head up off the floor. Now you can alternate, Just lengthen one leg, pulling it towards your face, grabbing it just on the calf. Stretch, stretch, stretch. It's 944. What? Uh -oh. All right. Roll up. We're just going to do a quick lower back stretch. And then we're out of here. So, child pose. go a little further by doing my cobra to downward dog but you can keep doing child pose to sphinx I'm gonna start with my downward dog so I want to keep make sure my hands are below my shoulders not ahead of my body and then I'm gonna just 
push my head through those arms and attempt to get those feet to the floor, my heels. Again, see, prominent heels again. This time we're really stretching those calves out and we're draining the, the blood from the lower back and then we're gonna flush it back in again when we go to cool breath. And you're still doing that in a gentle way when you do uh, child pose to sphinx. Okay, alternately try and touch your floor, your heel to the floor, not your floor to the heel. <laughs> Just gonna walk the dog a bit. All right. And you come back into almost a plank and then drop those knees to the floor. Pop to your feet. Hips, just relaxing and dropping towards the floor. And back into downward. And alternately try to touch those feet. Come on, stretch. <laughs> One more time into Cobra. My heels, tops of my feet are on the floor and my hips are dipping down. If you want to make it more extreme, you would lift your legs up like where your laces would be if you had shoes on. You would lift your feet, lift your body up the floor and drop. One more time into child pose. I wish I had more time with you, honestly. The stretching business is awesome. I'm glad I made it today. It was a close one. 